Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me on another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today I'm going to be going through a PvP attempt to show you what it's like battling a Rex Chase, um, General Kenobi, and a Nihilus team. This is famous for being the Triple Cleanse team um, that gave a lot of players a lot of problems for a long time. So I'm going to show you guys what it's like to use the First Order to go against the squad. Um, I will be doing a showcase for my mods and abilities, but at the end of the video, so that way if you guys um, are interested in, in that setup, just go ahead and fast forward to the end. Otherwise, I want to dive right into this battle and just do a walkthrough on how it works. What, what's going through my head when I battle this team, what my kill order is in order to beat this team um, based on what I know about their abilities. Um, now, just so you guys know, uh, without having to fast forward to the end, my Thrawn is at 258 speed, uh, which basically guarantees that he goes first in most battles. Um, and so what I'm going to do is fracture um, base. The reason I want to fracture base is because he has a group D spell and I don't want him to get rid of all of my advantage on my team. So I'm going to fracture base, which will set off General Kenobi's taunt. And I'm just going to go straight into killing General Kenobi. Um, the reason being, uh, since there's no R2 force taunt, there's no Xeris, there's no real heal going on apart from Chirrut, um, I just want to take care of him as quick as possible. And with the first order, that should be relatively quick. See there, in just a couple of hits, I already got his protection all the way down. Um, and his taunt is gone. So here, with Kylo Ren's Outrage, um, if he has full health, he's going to inflict stun for one turn. Now, I would like to use that on Nihilus, but guaranteed what's going to happen is um, Rex, who has the next turn meter, is going to go next. Um, and he would just dispel it right away. So, kind of useless. So what I'm going to do instead is use Lash Out, which is going to give 25% turn meter to all my allies. Now they do have uh, a lot of retribution, so I'm going to get hit back. But thanks to Kylo Ren's Zeta uh, in regaining his protection, that doesn't bother me too much. So for me, the turn meter gain is worth taking those extra hits. I'm going to do Retribution, get an extra hit there on Kenobi. Um, I'm going to use the basic here for uh, Stormtrooper, and I'm going to hope that through either his Zeta or Phasma's leadership, we're going to call someone because we could probably kill Kenobi right now. So let's see. Dispel calls Phasma, but no death. All right. So here, Kenobi's done for. Um, we're going to use um, First Order TIE Pilot. His keen down, 20,000. Kenobi's out of the picture now. So now I'm going to turn my attention to... Nihilus. Um, Nihilus is, is the main person who's going to be able to, to kill my squad, so I really want him to be dead as quick as possible. Here I'm going to uh, I'm going to taunt with Stormtrooper. Um, hopefully get an extra attack from either his Zeta or from First Order Storm, or for, from uh, Phasma's lead, um, but this is also going to dispel the debuffs on him and taunt for one turn. So Dispel, yep, see it called through his Zeta, called someone, either Thrawn or First Order Tire Pilot, but then also through Phasma's leadership, called either Thrawn or First Order, First Order Tire Pilot. I don't know which was which, but it called both of them, which gave me a lot of extra hits. Continue working on Nihilus. Nihilus is now out of the picture, so I'm gonna focus on Rex to just get him down, take him out of the picture. Now here comes the kind of the bounce back and forth between um, Baze and Chirrut. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to focus on Baze um, just because his endless taunting is, is pretty annoying. So I'm going to focus him down as quick as I can. Um, and then as soon as I can, I'm going to use Thrawn to just fracture him or, or just take him out. That works too. Um, there you go. That's pretty easy. Now at this point I, I could auto it, um, or earlier on I could auto it, but I'm going to show you guys, uh, we use some turn meter swap to give that to the first order TIE pilot, um, just to dish out that extra damage. Fracture him, and it's game over. So as you can see, no one even lost their protection. Um, against that triple cleanse team. Um, the thing that I really like with 
the first order squad is Rex. Yes, the first order squad is is dealing out a lot of uh, critical hits, which gives turn meter to Rex lead teams. But since the first order squad is able to internally gain so much uh, turn meter, it really kind of balances out. And and in the end, as you can see, the first order is actually able to still outspeed Rex lead, even though they're giving them so much turn meter. So. Uh, it's a really fun team. Um, now that I finished that battle, I want to go through some of my mods real quick for you guys to show you how it works. So Captain Phaseman's leadership is 100% necessary. You do have to have that Zeta in order for this team to work. Uh, what it does is it removes the 15% damage penalty, but also triples the assist chance for first order allies, which means you now have a 60% chance to call a random ally to attack with no damage penalty. So that can really add up to some big damage as you guys saw in the video. Um, but the other thing that's really cool is all first order allies start with advantage at the start of a, a battle and they can't be critically hit while they have advantage. So very cool uh, Zeta ability that I really enjoyed. Um, she was my third Zeta, I wanna say. Um, but she also has this victory march which is very useful to give allies 50% turn meter and advantage or critical hit immunity for those two turns. Getting into our mods, I currently have her set up for speed, um, speed mod set. Uh, that only gives her plus 12 speed, but I couldn't get too much out of the speed secondary, so I gave her the speed set since I had it with some decent mods or speed secondaries. Um, but I'm looking to replace it with probably a crit damage. So speed arrow, plus 15 speed in secondary. Plus 11 speed there with the crit damage triangle, plus 9 speed, plus 8 speed, and plus 5 speed with the primary stat of protection. Um, so her she has some decent survivability, 40,000 protection with 211 speed. Uh, keeps her alive for a long time to be able to use out that victory march as much as possible, um, and keep on dishing out extra attacks through her leadership. Moving over to Kylo Ren, uh, he has his Zeta as well for Outrage, which is very useful, um, especially to kind of uh, sort of put him on the back burner in, in regards to healing or protection, because he just recovers uh, protection equal to the damage dealt, and he normally deals about 20,000. So he can be almost dead and then whip out a 20, 30, 40,000, and then he'll have his full protection again. So very useful to have that Zeta, but really the main reason that uh, he's useful in this team is for lash out because he gives first order allies and allies with advantage 25% turn meter. So another way that you're dishing out the turn meter to the rest of your team. He also has ragged cut which deals uh, heal immunity, very useful against for example Xeris or Chariot or uh, sorry Chase. Um, very useful to stop them from healing to be able to kill him a lot quicker. And then his unstoppable which gives him 50% defense and 15% offense for one turn. Uh, as well as a 50% chance to reset his cooldowns. So it's very cool. Um, actually, when he gets fractured, I love when, when Grand, Am Grand Admiral Thrawn fractures him because all of that attacks, all of those attacks that are happening on Kylo Ren for, for that time that he's fractured counts when he gets out of, when he's done being fractured. All of that adds up to an attack. Um, so it actually happened one time that he was the last person left, got fractured, and uh, he was really close to dying. But right at the end, uh, the fracture ran out, and he actually hit for 101,000 damage. It was awesome. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time, uh, and I tried to get a screenshot, but I missed it. But it was so cool. He just one-shotted a fully health uh, General Kenobi. It was so cool. Anyways, his mods. Going in here, we got crit damage and crit chance. Uh, speed arrow. Plus 14 speed secondary, plus 14 speed secondary, plus 11 speed secondary with protection, plus 4 speed with protection, and crit damage with plus 9 speed secondary. Uh, some people opt to use the crit chance here. I prefer the crit damage since I have the full first order squad. He has plenty of advantage to go around to hit out those critical hits. Um, 40,000 protection, 210 speed. Overall, extremely happy with his kit, and I'm so glad that they reworked him because he was just a mess beforehand. After him is first our type pilot, also has his Zeta. All that does is give him a 70% chance to gain foresight for two turns whenever he loses that advantage. 
gives him some more survivability because he's pretty squishy. Um, I have his speed arrow with plus 9 speed secondary, plus 8 speed secondary, protection with plus 5 speed, protection with plus 4 speed, and critical damage with plus 7 speed. I opted to give those potency mods to him uh, simply because, uh, mostly because of the, the speed secondaries as well as primaries on there. I couldn't find any other mods that were of the same set that could um, have any real benefit to him. Uh, he already has a 50% critical chance and almost always has uh, advantage. So I opted for that potency uh, because his gun down inflicts buff immunity and health down. So it's very useful for, for example, uh, General Kenobi or Chase uh, when I'm trying to take out those tanks to inflict the buff immunity and then just work on someone else. So he is very useful and is the main DPS in this team. As you guys saw in the video, it deals a lot of damage. One of the kind of the one of the units that really glued together this team is First Order Stormtrooper. His basic he dispels when he has advantage, which is very nice for the tanks. His Order Relentless will taunt, uh, dispel all the debuffs from him, taunt, and then he gains as well as all that is gain 25% turn meter. So very nice uh, to have a taunting tank, and he has around 50,000 protection, 26,000 health. So. He has quite a lot of survivability, uh, but the thing that makes him so good is his Zadon Return Fire is basically a mini Captain Phasma. So whenever he uses any ability that's his basic, that's taunting, that's countering, whenever he uses any ability he has a 50% chance to call a random ally to assist. Now that counts for anything. So for example, as you guys saw in the video, he uses his order relentless and then through he taunted right through the video you see he taunts and then through his zeta calls first order tie pilot to attack but then through captain phasma's leadership also called grand admiral thrawn to attack now sometimes that happens it could be the same unit that's really cool when that happens um, he went one time he attacked and then through his zeta called first order tie pilot but then also through phasma called first order tie pilot the rng just happened to be there so the first order type pilot attacked four times in a row, and it was awesome to see that much damage come out. So uh, the first order stormtrooper is extremely necessary in this team. Um, his mods, he is. I did my best for speed. I prefer not to have these defense mods, but really I kind of had to, um, based on their speed secondaries. Um, you got a, the speed arrow with plus 14 speed and protection, plus 4 speed and protection, plus 15 speed and protection. So I had to go with them. And then I got a plus 4 speed and plus 10 speed with health mods. So 193 speed, uh, 40,000 protection. I would like to switch those over either to all health or maybe tenacity ones as well. Uh, but this is the best that I got for right now, especially with those speed secondaries. And after uh, First Star Stormtrooper is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, he is geared totally for speed. So we have plus 16 speed, the speed arrow plus 18 speed, plus 9 speed, plus 15 speed, and plus 5 speed. And he is sitting at 258. So as soon as I can get that up a little bit higher, anytime I get better speed mods, I give it to him. Because uh, I want him to go first, especially against uh, some of those triple cleanse teams or the R2 teams. Um, I'm going to show you guys the battle here against uh, the Rex, John Kenobi, Grand Admiral Thrawn, R2, and Nihilus teams. It's super necessary that he fractures Nihilus first, so that when R2 does his the smoke, um, it doesn't uh, stealth Nihilus, so that I can still attack him. So, but I'll show you guys that in another video. Um, I don't have his Zeta, and I'm not totally sold on it. If anyone does have it and has found it just game changing or even just very nice to have, let me know down in the comments. I'm not totally sold on it just because. Yeah, the 100% counter chance and tenacity is very nice, but it's only while enemies are fractured, and I don't use any any Empire guys, so I'm not totally sold on it, but I, I'll probably end up giving him his data next. Um, and as you can see, he's only gear 10. I'm still working on those, and we'll get them as soon as I can. But so that's how the team works, guys. If you have any other questions, just let me know down in the comments, and otherwise, I will catch you next time. See you later.